Alright. I'm just standing in front of the camera. Angry Beard Strip Tees! Oh, yeah. Badass new yeah. shirt. I love the Jets. <laughs> Jets. <laughs> All nice. I just got naked for you, chat. Yeah. You showed them your naked awesomeness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Table Time. Uh, today we are going to be playing... Okay, we've played Star Wars twice on Table Time. <laughs> it's, it's time for something else. And this is um, one of my favorite franchises of all time. It is Warhammer 40,000. <laughs> yeah, Forbidden Stars. <laughs> and what this is... Bullshit. is galactic combat between the different factions <laughs> in the Warhammer 40k universe. <laughs> Which factions? Well, uh, in this set we have the Space Marines, Ultramarines in fact, maybe they're going to bring Blood Angels later, but there's Ultramarines, Space Marines, there's World Eater Chaos Space Marines, who Angerbeard is, he loves the Chaos faction. Um, I usually, when I play, I usually play Space Marines, maybe some Dark Angels or Blood Angels, but today, I'm gonna go with the Orcs, because red ones go faster. Wait, they're all green. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll kill these stupid Umis. Okay, so I'm the Orcs, I'm the Berserkers, and my Nobs, and my Boys, and my Gretchens, my Boys, I love my Boys, and... <laughs> to, we're not. We we were going to have Dell join us, but Dell is preparing for a community event. If you guys want to check that out, uh, we have an Ark server, so he's going to be doing some Ark stuff. Uh, he would have played Eldar, and I've set up Eldar over here, a little off screen. You can't see it. Uh, Eldar are probably the more advanced race in this game with hit and run tactics. So we're just going to go with brute force over here. So. Um, I, I love the Warhammer 40k universe, I love uh, the space combat, the, f the fact that they're simulating it from an epic scale, okay? Uh, you've got the ships flying in space, you've got tanks, you've got titans, you've got battalions, or probably larger than battalions, like several armies worth of, of troops moving between the planets. So it's definitely an epic scale. So this game's gonna take a while, so uh, strap in for the long haul. It's probably gonna be about a three hour game. Uh, the game is time limited. There's eight rounds. Whoever has the most objective tokens by the end of the eighth round is the winner. What are the objective tokens? Well, they're simply just uh, tokens that are placed on planets that are kind of far away from your deployment, usually controlled by other players. For example, here's a Chaos Objective token. He needs to come here and capture that, which uh, tons of fun controls. Here's an Orc uh, token. I need to capture that, which tons of fun controls. So obviously, <laughs> <laughs> this is a game of intergalactic war. This is the 40K universe. There's no fun. There's no diplomacy. There's no trading there's no exploration in the grim darkness of future there is only war so think of it as a more advanced version of risk with a modular board that you can change up from time to time and with uh, a lot of flavor in the battles what they've done is they've created a 10 card unit deck so it's almost like a deck builder but not really you've got 10 cards you shuffle them so I got various stuff in here, you know, like say for example, the Space Marines, they got Scouts, they got Dreadnoughts, they got, uh, you know, the regular Marines and Power Armor, and you shuffle those, you draw the top five, and you use one of these cards in addition to the dice, and then you do three rounds of that. The dice say the same, but you're adding a second card, you're adding a third card, and whoever wins by the end gets that particular planet. Now what's cool about the game is, is there technology upgrades? Yes. Can you buy them bigger titans? Can you buy different forces? Yes. For example, this is your combat upgrade deck. 
So I'll take out my Gretchens, because who the hell wants Gretchens on their side? They're they're just cannon fodder. And you take two the two Gretchen cards out of your deck and swap them out with whatever you buy. For example, in this case, these are my Biker Boys, so I'd probably bring in some Biker Boys instead of Gretchens to make my units more powerful. So let's get started and uh, jump right in. Every uh, faction has a special ability that you, they can utilize. All the costs of your units are uh, right here on an easy reference sheet. Then you got a reference card on the different orders, which are basically the actions that you take during the game. You, uh, if you, if you grab this, this is your material. It's wor It's spelled really weird in the game, like material or something like that. But material, set it to six. Everybody 14? starts with six resources. No, not fourteen. Thirteen. Not thirteen. <laughs> six. You f cheaters, Whoa. space marines, as if they're not cheating already with their damn power armor. Both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Some bitch. The orcs are going to have you know, the umies. I've always wondered in a battle with the orcs versus chaos, especially the world leaders who are all red. Mm -hmm. Do they go faster because the orcs believe they go faster? Yeah, they probably think the world leaders <laughs> are a little so faster than them. Like, oh, I feel great. I can go so fast. <laughs> the lore is so great for the 40k universe. Like half of the orcs' guns don't actually function. Like if you picked up an orc gun and you tried to fire it, it would not function. It wouldn't yeah. fire. There's no chamber, the bullets don't go anywhere, but because the orcs feel like it should fire, for some reason they have inherent uh, a little bit of yeah, inherent magical power. psych abilities yeah. that makes that gun fire, fire. And in fact, when they fly around on their ships, orcs get so hyped up in battle that they stick their heads out of the, the windows there and they start screaming and shooting <laughs> and when they should die, but they're not really dead because their, their psyche powers keeps them alive. <laughs> so what you're saying is the orcs exist in the Looney Tunes universe? Yes, Pretty much, they yeah. do. They do, and they are they have spores, which is my special ability, by the way. Orc spores. When you resolve a dominate order, you may purchase one unit and place it on a friendly world in the active system. So I'm like, boop, 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 boop. my spores. <laughs> okay, let's begin. So I'll take the first player token, which is a little Aquila, and uh, then you have eight order tokens. There are four different orders in the game. The orders are deploy, which basically means buy units. The next order is strategize, which is basically buy upgrades. Dominate, which is earn assets from the planet. Stuff like forge world, stuff like reinforcements, stuff like uh, uh, material that you can use later on to make your units cheaper. It's not monies. Monies is in the end phase. And then finally, advance, which is how you attack and move your units across the galaxy. So I'll begin and I will place for this first round it's super friendly I'm just gonna kinda let you know what I'm doing chat. <laughs> uh, here is my basically my home sector it looks like this is Chaos's home sector uh, and that I think over there is uh, the Space Marine home sector. Um, so I'm gonna place a, a build action in my home sector. So I placed my first order, now it's Angerbeard's turn Alrighty. to secretly select an order. So there's hidden deployment, and I really like hidden deployment in games. It surprises people, and he's placing it down in these little areas of the map. And what can happen is, I can place an order on top of his order, and go before him, and sort of fuck his plan. Or screw up his plan. Excuse me. <laughs> Orcs don't cuss. Chaos Marines cuss. Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially noise Marines. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, Space Marines do too. The Angry Marines. Angry Marines, yeah. <laughs> a custom chapter. Did you place an order? Yeah. Sir? Okay. Uh, Bring out the cuss cannon. Go ahead. Anger beer. <laughs> right there. Done. Now we're only placing four orders, so that would be our second order. Okay, now would be our third order. And uh, tons of fun, just so you know, when you place a strategize, you have to own a system in that area in order for it to be executed. Right. Now, if you ever waste a token or you don't want to do the order on the token, you can simply put it on top of your event deck, which reminds you to draw a, a, an event card at the end of the, uh, the, the round. So... I will 
strategize. Okay. Uh, Anger Beard. Alright. Right there. And this is the last thing we place. Um, and it's probably going to be the move orders because everybody's kind of holding on to those to figure out uh, until the end. Since I have an objective token here, I'm obviously going to try to move in uh, there. And I f***ed it up. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. But you see, I have no ships to transport my orc boys over there. But they can go from adjacent planet to adjacent planet without a ship, so I can still do that. <laughs> I'm still learning the game a little bit, so place your last order, Angered Beard, and you son of a bitch! <laughs> that is an example of, you know, kind of screwing up my plan. I shouldn't have said that out loud, but whatever. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I think there's only one order you can do outside of your own borders, and that's the move order. So you kind of already know what it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a, unless the system is contested, possibly. So, But you may be right on that. Okay, so that was super quick. I really like that phase of the game. And once you learn the game and play it a few times, that phase goes in a flash of a blink of an eye. Now, the second phase is basically order resolution. And the first player, which is me... Chooses one of his face up, one of his uh, face down orders, and executes them. So, what I said before, where I screwed up, I didn't really screw up because I can just take all of these orders uh, first. So, dominate, dominate at my home system. I can grab two resources from this planet and one reinforcement from that planet to use later. Plus, when you dominate, you can use your special ability, orcs. I'm the Evil Sons clan. Orc Spores. When you receive a Dominate Order, you may, or resolve a Dominate Order, you may purchase one unit and place it on a friendly world in the active system. Damn, purchase? I thought it'd be free, man. What about them spores, man? <laughs> orcs should have, orcs should reproduce for free. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, where's my material? I have six material. Do I want to buy? Yes, I do. Now, I want to buy knobs, which are basically my equivalent to sort of space marines. Unfortunately, I can't, because if I look here on my sheet, it says I need a command value of one. Now, in order to get a command value of one, you need to have at least one city. The command value needs to equal the number of cities you have. So right now, I cannot buy knobs because my orcs aren't smart enough. Damn you, Umi. So I will just build an additional orc boy for two resources. So I go down to four resources. So here's one thing that I've, I've seen and it's like, does this break the game? <laughs> uh, are, are, the, are the chaos that powerful? Because look, if you look in this system, he has one cultist here, does he not? Read it for me one more time. When I resolve a dominate order, I may take one cultist okay. from the active system yes. and place it on a friendly or uncontrolled world in an adjacent system. Well, here is a friendly or uncontrolled world, and if what? you notice, <laughs> I just put it on one Which of the objective. objectives. Yeah. yeah, that's some bullshit. Yeah, I get that's some bullshit. First turn. <laughs> <laughs> so that's his ability. What was it called again? Uh, Taint of Chaos. Ah, so thematically it's like this planet started to res mm. uh, revolt and sort of have like cultists. <laughs> I don't know uh, what the actual words are to summon demon gods, so you're going to have to help me on <laughs> that. Well, I'm glad pretty, you don't. Let's not summon demon Zambun zingdang, uh, that Sounds about right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so that just happened. Okay, yep. uh, it's your turn. Uh, by the, the way, guys, I have zero clue what I'm doing. I get the objective now. Yeah, I was told the, when the mechanics you play, of the game like 20 minutes ago. Yes, he did. And when you play, you're going to have zero idea what you're doing the first time you play. So, do I yeah. get the so Scout, uh, the Space Marines have one of the most powerful abilities uh, in the game. Oh, that's free. The Ultramarines. I, I, it, it's not free, it just takes one material. So bring your material oh. down from f uh, 6 to 5. And upgrade one of these scouts, uh, wh wh whatever one you want, or maybe one's in your home system. Well, I think it's active. You may s uh, place one scout in the active system. Oh, in the active system, the system yeah. that you did the order in. Okay, right, right. So he just got Wait, essentially... Wait, which, which is the wrong system. Oh, that's the wrong system. 
That's the one I activated on accident. Okay, yeah. Uh, Go ahead and put it in your, your home system over there. So he just upgraded a space marine, Jefferson. or a scout, into a space marine. Oh, sorry. For a reduced cost. <laughs> For the Emperor. All right, and it's my turn again. I will go ahead and resolve this. Aha, a build. Hard for later. Now, um, um, so I do want to upgrade. I want to get rid of these damn Gretchens because I hate Gretchens. I hated Gretchens and Snotlings in, in the tabletop game because they're useless. They only hit on sixes, I think, and they almost never kill Space Marines. Um, but in the, but in this game they're kind of funny, uh, but I'm gonna take them out, and I'm gonna swap in my biker boys, <laughs> biker boys, yeah. <laughs> so basically, take out the two cards, put it in the upgrade deck. Take the two cards that you want, spend the the money, which is two. Thankfully, I saved exactly two. I'm down to zero material. The command cost of Biker Boys is zero, so I'm good. And put it in my deck, and then shuffle my ten-card unit deck. All right, and I'm done. Go ahead, Angerbeard. I get skipped. Angerbeard gets skipped. The reason why is because all of his command counters are being covered. I'm covering that one. Tons of Fun is covering that one. So uh, it is now Tons of Fun's turn. <laughs> okay, um, I will be the first one to attack. Here I come. Wrong! Okay, <laughs> so Get ready, man. you have to follow a specific movement uh, chart. It says move ships first. How do you move a ship? Well, let's see if I can. I don't know. That's a little far away for the camera, but uh, you can take a ship in the void and move it to any other uh, space in the void that you're in the sector that you're going to. So I'm going to take this one and put it here, for example. And that would now create a bridge to this uncontrolled territory. System. So I'm going to take all these orcs. No, no. I don't want to take all because then I lose control of the planet. I'm just going to take two of the orc boys and bring them over here to the objective planet. Hey, hey. You just smashed my scout. <laughs> That's a titan. That's a warlord titan. Yeah. I got. I get this. It's a titan. <laughs> it spans that's a, that's worlds. A, no, that's galaxies. a orc gargantuan. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. Okay. Uh, so that was my movement, and then once you're done moving, you can choose to initiate a ground combat or an orbital strike. You can't choose both. So because I didn't initiate a ground combat here, it was uncontested, I'm going to initiate an orbital strike, which means any ships within the sector can, can attack one world. So I'm going to take my crappy uh, onslaught attack ship, which only gets one dice, and there's really no point in attacking a Chaos Space Marine because he has three health. I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm an orc, and we don't understand that shit. <laughs> An Aquila, so no damage. <laughs> I was shooting at you with pistols from, from about... <laughs> I don't know how high. I was like, we're all just standing on a plateau and you guys were bombarding like three miles off. Yeah, that's about how accurate okay. the orcs are. Single, single, single pistol, pistol round. <laughs> what was that? Is it hailing? The fuck? Yeah. Okay, so my, uh, my turn's right. done. Now that that's over with, I'm going to reveal this, which is a build. You son of a bitch. You done, so, fuck you done up. fucked up. There's no factory there. No, I don't need to. I don't need to build units. I'm going to build buildings. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to build a factory? What you going to build? I'm going bastion. to build a bastion. Damn it! Grab one of those. Okay. Awesome now what a bastion does is put your control uh, token oh, under right. it. A bastion means I can no longer, nobody can orbital bombard him anymore. No more orbital bombardments on this area because he has a bastion. Plus, it's going to give him uh, attack dice, defense, it's going to give him morale. Basically, it's going to be hard as shit to take over that area. Now, why he wants to do that, I don't know. I'm not planning to go over that, I don't think so. I'm content <laughs> with where I'm at. Okay, um, and then uh, tons of fun. I believe it's your turn. Yeah, so uh, I see what you're doing. 
tons of fun. Commander, tons of fun. If you're smart, you will do this. We shall see. All right. Uh, orcs. I. Let's uh, see. I picked an advanced order, and this is, this is awesome because I get to move into the system. So I take ships from uh, anywhere over here. So I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to place it here. And what this does, let me knock over some chaos <laughs> ships as I come over here. No! What this does is it creates a bridge. Normally, uh, you know, I couldn't move my land units into an empty space. It just has to be to an adjacent planet. The ship has created a bridge. I am moving both of my orc boys no! over uh -oh. to... Nay, I say nay! <laughs> to this system here in order to try... I, I, it's a chaos objective, but that's not my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is... Be wiped you what, off the map. I tell you what, I will leave one of my orc boys <laughs> back there because I need that system's resources. See, these are difficult choices already. So I'm only going to bring in one orc boy so that you guys can see the combat system. So we have now started a combat. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to scene two. Hopefully this doesn't break everything. Oh, all right. <laughs> ah. Okay, reveal my card, reveal his card, and we'll see if that worked. <clears throat> updating updating yes it worked <laughs> okay so what this does is in addition to the two guns that I rolled I also get two more gun results from my biker boys so I'm up to four attack and one defense that'll block his one oh no he only has a defense uh, but he gets a gun so that'll block his gun um, and then uh, I need to resolve the special ability. So the special ability says your opponent must re-roll all his guns. No guns. No guns. If I have knobs, which I don't, I don't have knobs in the battle, so I don't get to do that second thing. What uh, uh, tons of fun gets to do is gain two attack counters. You son of a yeah. motherfucker. So he adds two. Shoot, shoot. So now he has uh, two uh, attack, and I only have one defense. So we resolve that right away. So I special. take, uh, what is his special? Scout. He does have a scout. When an enemy unit is routed during this execution round, it is destroyed. Unless, <laughs> your, unless your opponent spends one Aquila. And I didn't roll an Aquila. <laughs> Very nice tactic, sir. It looks like the scouts maybe sent an advance force in. What they did is I took damage, and his special ability is going to kill me outright. I However, I damage. also did damage to him. I did four damage. How much defense do you have? Uno. One defense. So uh, can this take three hits? How many hits can that take? Red. Uh, two. Two. So I obliterated him as well. We both kill Even each with other. reinforcements? Oh, no. I forgot about the reinforcements. That's right. Because of three so, hits? So um, I will take the uh i'll take a hit to my routed unit the routed unit is destroyed because of your special ability you'll take the hit to your routed unit your routed unit is destroyed due uh due to mm -hmm. four hits um and now we go one more combat round so draw so a, the reinforcement takes all the hits yeah that reinforcement took all the uh, it took all the hits yes well, okay. And it's it was not just completely an outright destroyed. It's not oh, just an so, additional hit point. Yes, no, you're right, you're right. So uh, it takes two hits, and then one more hit still needs to be distributed, right? Because I gave you four hits, you blocked one, mm -hmm. so you are routed. Okay. Because the and damage it, does carry over. It takes it takes two damage, the little reward? Yeah, take two damage. Some damage. Wait, so I got you're three, right. but you got one defense. That's yeah. bullshit. He's routed, but the battle's not over. His unit is is routed. All right. So uh, this time, I'm already going to go with Shooter Boys. And he's going with Ambush Scouts yet again. <laughs> uh, which means... I think we're both dead. Oh! Because I decided to pick two guns instead of remembering that he's got those types of cards. I didn't think he had another one. I could have instead picked Ard Boys, which is what I should have done. It would have been smarter commander decision to make during the second round to try to preserve my life. 
and I would have had two defense, which means that I would have won outright and not lost anything. But because I pressed my luck and went with Shooter Boys, they didn't give a crap about no. their, their <laughs> lives. They were easily baited by the scouts who encircle them, and we all kill each other. Well, oh, there's, no. there's there's blood for your blood god there, I guess, huh? I, I don't have yeah. a blood god. Oh, He's blood gonna, for his blood god. Yes, my blood god. Yeah. Match set. Taka, 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 taka. Damn orcs. <laughs> hey, the orcs count that as a win in their book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you damn dirty orcs. Damn it. Apes? Are you apes? Orcs? I'm damn. orcs. All right. Okay. So I guess it's my turn now. So now we take these cards back and put them in our decks. Shuffle the deck again. So my next move. Y'all want to know what a wog card does? Jesus, wog. man. Wog! Three Aquilas and rally one of your units and gain one attack for each unrouted orc boy. It's insane. Wow. Basically, you play that card right there at the third round because Aquilas will have you win the battle during the third round. Um, no, I'm going to buy some Mega Knobs. I'm going to go with Mega Knobs. It's fucking names. Mega Knobs. They're basically my orcs in Space Marine armor, but our, our armor is really, really crappy. But at least it's better than not having any armor at all. Okay. I better take this planet this time. Last time I got shoved off by some clever play from the Chaos Space Marines. The orcs outplayed me to round three and they won on Aquilas. That's not happening this time. Knobs are rolling three dice apiece. So I've got uh, six die. No, knobs are only rolling two dice apiece. So I have three Four die. plus a bastion, which is another two. So I need All right. I'm choosing Ard Boys. I'm gonna go with a defensive orc tactic here. He went with Mark of Corn, so it was a good idea to do that. You must reroll all your attack dice. So I only have one, and it just turned into another attack. Orc Boys, your opponent must reroll one. Oh, I don't have any Orc Boys. Uh, <coughs> you spend either one gun or one Aquila to gain three uh, attack tokens. I'm gonna take three attack tokens. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I have three defense. How much attack do you have? You add, Five. Add two with this over Oh, here. seven. You have seven? Fucking hell, Chaos. Seven. So I take six hits? Wait, no. Seven, and then I had three defense. So seven total, three defense, four hits. Mm-hmm. Uh, four hits. I'm going to uh, completely destroy this for two and route one of my knobs who has four health. Route one of my knobs. Okay, second round of combat. Oh, wait. I do one damage to you. Do you have any defense? No. You have no defense? You take one damage. Oh, no, I have two defense. You have two defense, then never mind. Okay. You're good. All right, which one? Mm. Do I go with more Ard Boys to try to survive the onslaught? Or do I go with the biker boys? I just don't know. Does he have another corn? Damn. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. Yeah, that would give me just three and then you would need Make it happen, Joe. I'm gonna go hard boys again. Okay. Building up my defense, because I think he's going to possibly bring more attack. No, he went defense. Damn it. Okay. Uh, you must reroll all of your guns. All mine? Yes. You better not get a Quillas. Gun and defense. A gun and a defense. Um, and then spend either a uh, shield and, or an Aquila to gain three defense. You gain three defense if you want to spend a gun or a shield. Uh, I'll spend a Okay, uh, so you will. Talk to him. I'm not doing any damage to you, and you're not doing any damage to me. Correct. 
Um, final round. Third round. So, gotta win on Aquilas. Come on, orcs. Don't fail me now. Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, come on now. Come on, my orkies. Come on, green skins. I used mech boys which gives me an aquila and a and i gain a dice and of course this guy saves that same card that beat me last time <laughs> the mark of cinch so you get two aquilas and you gain another aquila if you have more aquilas than your opponent well let's see uh i have three right now how many do I have you three. have three so you don't get that uh, but you do get to spend two aquilas to no you don't want to do that yeah. either so i can win on this so it's three to three. Yeah. So you're gonna push me off the system again yeah. if I don't roll an no, Aquila. It, it, yeah, yeah. How much morale no, does I your nav I can't have? believe this fucking shit. How much morale does your knob have? Oh, we forgot to include the the knobs. All right, so my knob has two morale. Okay, I have two morale. <laughs> two morale. It's still tied from the Bastion. But you know what I'm gonna oh, do? Oh no, I have the Bastion too. So you I, have... I automatically have more. Well, here's what I'm doing. I'm spending this scheme. Tear it down, which I'm destroying your Bastion right now. <laughs> I needed to do that, otherwise I was going to lose. So your Bastion is destroyed. So how many Aquila do you have now? I have the same amount. Three. Three? Well, I have three plus my knobs, which are five. I oh, win. Well, no. I would have three plus my Space Marine, which would make it five. You would have three plus your space three, which, which would is, is chaos is two, mine is two. Okay, this die will win it. <laughs> I'll roll a fucking Aquila. If I don't roll an Aquila, I'm pushed off again. It's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking orcs. Can you do any damage? Back to the void with you. Shit, boy, I should have done some Holy upgrades. Fuck. Look at some of those cards there. I should have done some up. I, 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 this is just poor play on my part. Uh, all right, they <laughs> are back to their goddamn system, and I hate your stupid guts. Because <laughs> your guts are stupid. All right. Jesus. My turn. Um, it is your turn. Okay. Advance. Mm hmm. Bam. Wow! Last minute chaos is trying to defend their objective. I did not expect that. So chaos, take this card. So Space Marines, take this card. Four, I've got seven dice. So drop pot assault. Mark of corn. Drop pot assault. Gain one die. Space Marine, roll it. Make sure you're not have rolling more than eight dice. That's your limit. Okay, and then Space Marine. Do you have a Space Marine there? Yes, yes, you do. Spend one Aquila to either take one Scout or one Space Marine Battalion from any world it and can't. place it on this world. It's the limit. It's only two units for that world, right? Is it? No, he he can do three units. Oh, it's at three. Okay. All right. So amazing play, Space Marines. <laughs> for the Emperor, for we the have reinforced Emperor. your brothers. All right, and the Mark of Corn. <laughs> spend either one gun, one Aquila to gain three attack. Are you going to do that? Yep. Okay, gain three attack tokens. And you have a Space Marine there, so your opponent chooses and destroys one of his routed units. You don't, uh, there's no routed units yet. Okay, so apply, the attacker will apply. Uh, what do you have? I have five. Five. Five plus that. Five uh, guns plus oh, these two, so that's seven guns. Versus your defense plus one. one. Two. <laughs> Two. So you take five hits. What are you going to take out first? Maybe your land raider, your single land raider could take five hits? I think take four. Uh, okay, so you would either destroy your land raider and... No, no. You have uh, one yeah. routed unit, so you'll destroy the routed unit for two. Now you need three more damage. You can so either... go to the barge. You can the There's barge. There. No, the barge is not there. This is a ground assault here. The no, barge no, the, is, is the land raider or land raider, whatever. Land raider is routed, okay. But he's still there. All right, second round or um, Hang on. how much are you doing? Four, five, five with this. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much defense do you have? Four. So you take one damage. So Do-line I'm gonna route guy. your mm -hmm. unit. Now give me another card. Okay. We have armored advance. 
versus another mark of corn. So he's going heavy on uh, on attacks. So gain and gain and roll another die. Make sure you're not rolling more than eight die. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I got right here. Sorry. All right. Thanks. Stay down. Bitch. And <laughs> you would resolve one additional assessed damage step during this execution round if you had a land raider, but because your land raider is routed, you won't get to use this special ability. Okay, didn't realize that, but sure. Sorry about that. Sure. And uh, spend either one gun or one Aquila to gain three temporary combat tokens. You don't have the combat tokens from before, but you're re-getting them. Mm -hmm. uh, your opponent chooses and destroys one of his routed units unless he spends one defense die. You have a routed unit. Do you want to spend one defense die, or okay, do you want to destroy it? Okay, just because I've never played before, why wouldn't I choose to destroy it instead of... Why wouldn't you choose to destroy it? Because I have one it? defense, or I can get rid of a whole fucking unit. Yeah, get, well, you, is well see, th here. this has four health still. Even while it's routed? Up to oh, health. then I'm going to remove one of my defense die. Yeah. Obviously. Okay, so now um, we'll, apply, uh, we'll apply the attacker's uh, values. How many guns do you have over there? over there? Over here, I have four. I have four here, so eight. How many defense do you two. have over there? <laughs> two, two over there, two over here. over here? No, no, two oh, over two there. Two total, okay. Yeah. So eight verse uh, two, six. six damage. Yeah. How are you going to take the damage? Uh, the barge and then uh, one of the Marines will be routed, I guess. The barge is or the goes in. Crew raider. And the raider is destroyed. How many health do you have? Four. And then one of the space Marines is routed. Okay. And... Uh, how much damage are you doing to him? You have three attacks over here. Five. Five total? How much defense Four. do you have? Four. You take one damage. I'll route the Four. chaos. Four damage. Or actually, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Even, I have to go to something that's right. unrounded. I've got five total here. Minus four is one. Plus three, he takes four damage. Okay, four damage. Five. For how? Five, six, seven, eight. You got four. Four. Oh. Okay. So this would... I would just kill the Chaos Space Marine and the routed unit. This would... Well, it has to go towards the un... You, you have to apply damage towards the unrouted units first. Oh, so been this would... Way. Been playing completely I don't different. think that's why we just resolved my damage. Yeah, but your damage was resolved the previous round, and it was fine because your land raider was... No, just was now I destroyed the so barge first. Yeah. Or the raider first, which yeah. was routed. Uh-huh. And, but your raider had four damage, and I gave it four damage. Oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, yeah that was just, my fault. That was my that fault. Completely wrong. <laughs> it's man, the battle mechanic is very tricky. A little fiddly there. So because this is already routed, you have to first apply the damage to the unrouted unit. So the two space. Okay, so they're both dead then. So the both space marines take all that damage, and they're both dead. Mm -hmm. Now onto you, you would have to destroy your space marine. Because it, you take four damage. This only has three damage, so this right. space marine is dead. So now we have an well, unrouted and the, raider and the, and, the unru and, uh, the and the and the routed reinforcement, the routed raider. Wait, and you four health or three health? And the, My titan? No, 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 your space marine. Oh, oh. Well, according to the what you just said, then your titan would be routed because that your 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 cultist has three health. Mm -hmm. I did four damage, so he's dead. Oh, four damage, extra damage. So now so this wasn't yours. This was his. No, that no, that's his. Mine. But his Titan's not oh, his routed, Titan so he's routed. routed. Yeah. Titan routed. Not that it's going to matter dice-wise, but that might affect your abilities. Yeah. Woo! All Although right. Titan first, it, it, combat could get a little fiddly there. You have to remember that. Let me go over that one more time just to make <laughs> sure. Uh, resolving combat resolution. Execution. Assess damage. Rules for suffering damage. Page 13. The, uh, when a player suffers damage, he must choose any one friendly unit on the area to suffer the damage. The unit must be unrouted unless all of his other units are routed. Okay. Okay. So we're, we did it right on that. We may have done it wrong maybe once or twice uh, throughout the game, but what's this guy sitting on here for? That's the one that, that got He's killed dead. and right. I threw him over there. <laughs> so one last round of combat. Glory and death gain two um, uh, attack uh, tokens if you're attacking, which you're not. Uh, if you have a space marine, which you don't. Uh, and then you have a mark gain one Aquila die. Um, if you have more Aquila than your opponent, do you? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. He has way more Aquila than you. Then gain uh, or replace one of your cultists on this world. You don't have that. And you don't have that. So, final totals. The attacker will resolve his attacks first. You have four over here. How many over there? Five. So, nine total. Uh, you have two no, defenders. No, 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 five no. total. Yeah. Five total. Because you only have one yeah. thing over there. Uh, okay, five total versus two defense two. here. How many do you have over there? So, that's three. No, I just, there's just two defense from there. So, three. Five versus three. Two damage. No, three, three damage. Three damage. Just the two defense there. So, three damage. Barge. He has four health. Does that matter? I don't even know if that matters. No, it doesn't matter. He's not taking the full uh, the full oh, damage. Okay. How much? He has four health, and he only took three. Yeah. So he survived. Okay. Okay. And what about you? How much damage uh, did you do to him? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven damage to him, and how much defense do you have? Four. Ooh, wow. Seven. I take seven damage. Titan's dead. Holy shit! Holy shit! I can't did I successfully the space defend? Marine yeah. Defended the against a. a, a, a Defended but, against that. What about the Aquilas? But if you look what? at this, the Aquila. Wow. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It you doesn't go to present, that because right? you've, lo you've lost your oh, units. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, you would have won had it gone to the Aquilas, yeah. but you couldn't hold out because that Titan Whoa, can't take Whoa, I was totally expecting you to take that from him. Yeah. I was trying. Oh, I tried okay. with everything I had. Nice. He did everything he could. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, and you, that, was just that is a well-deserved, uh, you know, token there. But uh, I can't believe the sp the Space Marines uh, defended so well against that. You are using twos. He brought out uh, a four, which is Wait, you know pretty did powerful. Seven damage? Yeah, he did seven damage. Yolo. <laughs> that was definitely a big Yolo. It was. It was. That's all I could do. That was my last hurrah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it was. You know. Pretty, pretty awesome battle. Um, okay. Anyways, so I need to figure out did the go back. Yeah. If I had a mark of Nurgle, I could have lasted easily. What's that one do? Gives me super defense. Mm. That one. You already had fucking four defense die the whole damn time. It gives me like another five or six defense. It's crazy. I'm gonna go with a Bastion. Oh, those are temporary ones. Make though, it yeah. more difficult. Yeah. Remove okay. for yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, collect objectives. No. Oh no, you have one token left. Oh, he's got that objective over there. Oh. Holy he's oh, shit! Guy. He's he's do he's gonna try to do it now. So move your ships over. Yeah. I'd move all your ships over. I mean, you might as well. You're gonna win. I don't think I'm gonna win, but this is the last move. Do it. Well, but the ships don't do anything. The ships yes, don't they do, do shit. I have a bastion. Oh. You have a oh, you built a bastion. Well, okay. but you can't you can't bombard and attack ground attack in the same turn. No, you can't. Okay. It's an or. I trust me. I thought about that already. I was okay. like, I was gonna fucking bombard the shit and then land, which is what I was gonna do over there if you do the, you know whatever. If you guys have been left. Yeah. So that's it. Do you want to that, please, sir? Okay, so this is the battle for the win. If the Space Marines can take this from me, uh, let's then... just hope this goes like Spartacus did. And... <laughs> oh, <we'll win. laughs> oh yeah, I am bringing in one reinforcement. It's an Eldar card. Oh, right? oh, oh. Not, not mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I tried. Eight. Why do I only have eight? <laughs> Probably because you didn't return Oops. some. I've been missing my mecha boys this whole time. No wonder <laughs> I was looting, losing battles. <laughs> Dang it. Nice. Okay. Into for the win. Two land raiders. And unfortunately, I wasn't. I messed up all my orders. I had no forge tokens. The orcs weren't able to build a forge world in time to get these two trains over here to help out. So let's do this thing. I'm gonna give you your cards back. Six total dice. Damn. I'm gonna give you your cards back. Uh, one mark, please. No. <laughs> no. You do what I say, and I'm bringing reinforcements. That's all I got. All or nothing. He's going all in. I have no reinforcements to bring in. But you do have a the bastion. Right. Oh, because the Bastion can take damage? Yeah, Bastion can take damage. It can soak damage. Soak up to three. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I think you... I think I'll turn my favor, this. but... I think you got this. Plus, you have maybe stronger cards than me. I haven't strategized a whole lot, so I don't have a lot of upgraded cards. 
just my biker boys and my mecha boys. All right. Um, how many die am I rolling? I'm rolling two plus two, so four. How many die are you rolling? Six. Six. Damn. Nothing but Aquilas. I got three Aquilas wow. and one defense. Oh, no. I got three and three. Three attack, three defense. Mm. Okay, I'm face down card. This may be it, guys. This may be the game. He is playing Armored Advance, which is that super powerful thing. Gain one die. So I can have up to eight, right? Yes. I've got seven currently. You can have eight total. Uh, okay, you have a Land Raider. Resolve one additional assess damage step, so he's going to do damage twice. I have Mecha no Mega Knobs. Uh, you your opponent fucker. must reroll all defense. Oh, all, all defense. defense? Yeah, oh, which shit. is going to help you, rather. Probably. I just needed these two defense. I shouldn't have done that, though. I only got one extra attack. And I gain one extra defense. Okay, so how much attack are you doing total? Six. Six, and I have four defense total, which gives me two damage. I'll soak it with the Bastion. So the oh, wait, Bastion, do you do that every turn, then? Yeah. The Bastion doesn't route. I read that, and I've always, you know, I was like, what the hell? It doesn't route. So you have to wait till additional uh, uh, okay. rounds. You just have to do a ton of damage during that. So moving on. Uh, so wait. So then I do damage, but I do two damage this turn. I do two assessments this turn. Yeah. So you do two damage, and then it results again because mine isn't routed. You two do two damage, and it doesn't kill the bastion. The bastion has three health. No, I understand that. So you did that. two damage. The bastion's down to one health. And then you resolve damage twice, so, oh, I see, you kill the Bastion. Right, no, don't he I? He wouldn't kill the Bastion. He would kill the Bastion. The There's reason why, turn. it's not a second combat route, know, right? But your Bastion... Oh, the Bastion doesn't route. Yeah. So it ignores the damage. Wait, no. What? But that, does, that makes no sense. Yeah, this is a this is a hole in the rules, I believe. Because it could go either way. Uh, you know, you could give it two damage, it doesn't route... Then you resolve one additional battle step. So I say you. So if it doesn't it, route it, destroys. I say you give it two more damage for four damage total. But another way to interpret the rules is if you give a bastion two damage, it's ignored, and it gets no damage, right? But no, that's only when that it goes to. That would be supremely that's, powerful. Yeah, that only when it goes to the next round. Yeah. yeah. It is supremely powerful because if you didn't have that card, it's still supremely powerful. Yeah. You you would need to kill a bastion in the second or third rounds. And that's God, what it's designed. Dude, that is sick. But that's what it's designed yeah. to do. No, to I force get it, you to go into the second fuck. and third round. So I'm going to rule it as you're doing four damage instead of doing uh, three damage, and I'll okay. destroy the Bastion. So we get to go one more round. Fuck. Hmm. Okay. Come on, baby. I'm bringing in Ard Boys, and he's bringing in Ambush. So, uh, he gains two combat uh, tokens. Mm -hmm. I gain, You must reroll all of your attacks. I didn't roll any attacks. Oh. Um, so, uh, now your total is three attack over here, plus what over there? Uh, five, nine. Nine total? Yeah. Holy fuck. Okay, well, I've got four, five, five defense, so four hits, and my knobs take exactly four. Boom. That's it. Wait, no, is any routing? No, he takes four hits. Oh, when you... So, it's less than max damage, they're routed. Yeah, less if than you do equal, most damage, it's just, they're straight e dead. Equal okay. to damage, cool, cool. he's dead. And that is the end of the game. It doesn't matter about these orders because no, there's no other orders here. You're going to get this token regardless, which would give you three, three. Uh, objective tokens. And so the Space Marines win it. Damn. Full the Emperor! If we had gotten to the next round, I would have won. How? I'm sure you could have. Boom. Straight on in. Straight on in. <laughs> nice.
Nice. Now, assuming of course, now, like, and, and I, I do think it. I do blah, think blah, 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 blah. it. I do think it was a close game all the way to the end. Because one more turn, you would have won. Now, would I have won? No, but it was because I had been constantly Dude, blocked at least spots. twice to get this. <laughs> yeah, you were gonna build a bastion there. I was gonna you? build another bastion. He was gonna build another bastion there, you <laughs> bastard. Um, there was a lot of mistakes I made in terms of not not strategizing to bring in more upgrades. I could have gone a different way after you were blocking me with two planets here. But all that kind of stuff you have to learn after playing yeah. the game. That it's like, wait, I can't move through Bastions and I can't go, you know. Really, I feel like I this game, just, I mean, I was only played it once. But I feel mm -hmm. like this game probably requires two or even three plays. Yeah, it before requires you kind of two or three. Before are fully yeah, playing this fully, game. Fully playing. Because I feel like if someone had played this game four or five times, I wouldn't have won. Mm -hmm. They would have known too many other tricks to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, time for our final impressions of Forbidden Stars from Fantasy Flight Games. We played a three-player game, and we had Chaos Marines, uh, Space Marines, and Orcs. Uh, it turned out that the Space Marines were victorious, but the next turn, Chaos Marines could have won. Mm -hmm. The Orcs, unfortunately, were far away from winning because they were being blocked mostly by the Chaos uh, forces and uh, they were starving from Forge World tokens that would have really helped out. Um, I, I I gotta say that uh, I played this game uh, when I first got this game. Opened the box, read through the rules. I said, "This is simple. This is easy." I didn't read this. There's two rule books. <laughs> There's the clarifications and then the the other rules, which I can't find right now. But I read the first rule book and I was like, "This is so easy." It's not complicated at all, and for the most part, the mechanics are not difficult to understand. But this is a game that your first playthrough, you're probably not going to like it, because I hated it the first time I played it. Yeah. The reason for that is we played it wrong. Uh, <laughs> you've got to read this rule book cover to cover. You've got to read the second rules reference cover to cover. Once you have a grasp on that, then you can play a game... And then don't judge the game on that first game. Play a second game. Then judge the game on the second game. Because you're not going to have any clue of what you're doing. Honestly. Even no. if you read the rule book, you're not going to know how all this stuff works and how it plays out. You're just not. Uh, especially when your race has so many cards. This is um, So let's go into pros and cons right now. Um, <laughs> let's list off all the pros. Pros. The miniatures... Awesome. Amazing, hands down, the best minis in any game since StarCraft, the board game. Uh, their uh, Fantasy Flight does the best components, the best miniatures. There's just so much detail in these battle barges. The cities look amazing. Uh, the counters are cool. The art on the cards are fantastic. The only thing I don't really like is the square tiles. I would have preferred, you know, more colorful hexagon because you've got these big ass green, these big ass gold borders. I know they're going for artwork like you would find in codexes, <laughs> so it's kind of uh, thematic. But in terms of uh, component quality, holy moly, you get your money's worth there. You, you get nice. four different factions. <laughs> so uh, 10 out of 10 for the component quality. Uh, what do you guys think about the components? They're oh, great. and custom dice. And, and the, the, the symbols on the dice look great. You got these little guns, little defense aquilas, which are always cool. So yeah, hands down, uh, best components. I love the hidden orders. I love picking hidden orders, not knowing what other people are going to do. Placing them on the board, that's very quick. Resolving them is quick, all until you get to a battle. So I like all of that, until you get to a battle. Um, but, let's get to some of the negatives. The negatives is the combat system, I think, is a little too fiddly, yeah. a little too lengthy. This would be... A great two-player game because you're not really waiting you're always engaged when you're in battle I often was not in battles uh, they were fighting it out the chaos and space Marines and I had nothing to do except for you know guide it along with doing the stream but if I didn't do that I would be you know staring at a wall doing nothing <laughs> um, and, and, and in a four-player game there's two players that are staring at walls, or at least maybe they're talking to each other a little bit, so it's a little bit better in four-player, but man, this game would be so 
long in four player. Mm -hmm. I think this game works best as two player and then three player if you're willing to stare at a wall for a little bit while they're doing yeah. their epic battles. There's a lot of downtime. A lot of downtime. Um, I got um, another pro though is the battles are so thematic. They're so great. They are complex and, and fiddly because you got to turn dice and add dice and then add counters and then remove counters and remove dice and add more cards and do three rounds of cards. It's so uh, lengthy and fiddly, but um, the cards are really thematic because there's Space Marine drop pods dropping down, taking Space Marines from all sorts. That's perfect. The shooter boys just going crazy. Mega boys. I had cards that are like weird boys using psychic effects and stuff that, that makes you change your dice and just really cool stuff. Um, however, instead of having a 10 card deck with, I don't know, another 15 card upgrade deck, I would have d just done one global hand. One global hand of five cards that you can then add one card into battles to speed that battle yeah. system up, but still give it a little bit of that flavor. Battles take a little too long for my tastes. And because you have all these upgrade cards and you have your basic ten units, you have to sit here for an hour before you play and look to see what every single unit does. Otherwise, you have limited information and you're going to suck at the game. Yeah, it's period. You have to get used to your faction. Um, I love the events. Yeah. The events were that great. Really cool. Putting the counters on the events and then choosing between multiple events. The tactics and schemes, so perfect. Don't change that. That's fucking amazing. I love not having to fiddle with a bunch of gold tokens and stuff. Though I do like that in some games. In this game, it was appropriate There's just so many to die. Tokens yeah. Already. Yeah. There's already too many tokens, so using a dial for monies... Beautiful, perfect. Um, what else? Now, before before you keep moving on, yeah. And before we do any sort of verdict, to to state some pros and cons from my side, it's kind of funny. I'm about to say this, considering it's the first time I've ever played this. Yeah. But I think a number of your complaints are, I'm not gonna say only valid, but are, are mainly a concern on first play. Mm -hmm. Like luck talking about all these cards and stuff. I think the combat system in this game is awesome. I love that there's three rounds of cards that dramatically change what's happening. Like, I come in with a massive force, I'm like, oh, I'm going to win this shit easy. And then he's like, oh, I'm bringing in shit, and I'm doing this, and I'm like, oh, look, I'm trading in this, I get like five fucking Yeah, so it can surprise you. So there's there a lot of nuance. We there's no, surprised. like, well, guaranteed win. That's, that's why this game is better played just two players, because then you don't have one guy just sitting over here going, oh. I mean, I personally yeah. found all the battles exciting enough that even when I wasn't in them, I cared about what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. So to me, I think it's, pr I think... Combat is great. I don't think they need to speed it up at all. Oh, okay. I think I don't know anything about Warhammer, but the pieces that I do know about it and how what the origin of it is and the miniatures game, it seems like the combat does it justice. Yeah, I feel like yeah. the combat does it justice, factoring in all the unique t t type of units, mm -hmm. different abilities you have as a commander or well, I don't general, I don't know what the fuck you call them. Mm -hmm. um, but my main complaint with any game mm -hmm. is, oh my god, tokens. Holy balls, tokens. Could we have not have done something a little bit to tweak that out? There's a lot of cards and a lot of tokens, which is a lot of moving pieces. And as a concern... For I, disagree. Who owns, I disagree on the tokens. As a person who owns a lot of board fun. games mm -hmm. and has left pieces at my house, uh, lots and lots of pieces means lots and lots of lost pieces. <laughs> I disagree on tokens. I think there's just the right amount of tokens. But it's okay to have different mm -hmm. opinions. So I felt, I felt the battle system it, it didn't need to be so lengthy. Um, and, and you could do the same thing with just a global hand and still get the flavor. Yeah, you would lose some of it, and I, I totally agree that you would. And he says the battle system's perfect. If you love lengthy battles and you love thematic battles, it's perfect. He Strategy, thinks there's man. a little too many counters. I think the counters are perfect. What about you, Angry Beard? I what do you think of the could, battle system? Oh, the battle system yeah. is pretty good, although I still feel like it's a little too lengthy. That's a little all. too lengthy. Um... I think we could do without these counters because they never stay there. For oh long. yeah, the, just, so the, yeah. so he's talking about the, the temporary, the temporary counters, counters. We don't that need, come in. I mean, it says it on the card. That comes through, but if you take those out, all those special abilities the on the happens, card goes away. But look at the cards; like it's already there. It already happens. Yeah, we, yeah. we can. What's the difference between say. the two two guns on the side and the two guns in the middle? There's no difference. The the difference is the guns on the side stay okay. always. Sure, three we're not rounds. saying to put them there, but you can have the same effect as those tokens mm -hmm. by that symbol and not have to have tokens. No, well, I mean, not, it's like you're it's not like listening. In, in yeah, magic, in magic, they they have things that say like plus two for this one hand or something. 
Oh, right. plus two for this one hand. Right, right. Yeah. Same thing. You're do saying that. you don't even need to bring in the tokens, but you're having to do a lot more in the head, and I guess the tokens are just there for visual yeah. reference. That's right. what it is. Right. Okay. Which I understand yeah. why they're there. It's just you don't really need them. Mm -hmm. What else All you right. Um, there now, are you any... know a lot about the lore and the yeah. theme of Warhammer. Do you feel that this hits it? Do you feel like you're chaos? Do you feel like you're corn yeah, and the first, the first game I played, I didn't. Well, I we played like it, it was, wrong. It was too heavily focused on cultists. I was like, man, all of Chaos's stuff is cultists, and cultists is like the worst unit. Mm -hmm. But now that I've played it again, I understand their strategy a little bit more. It makes sense for how Chaos is, because they, they do send in cultists first, because they're expendable. So they always have cultists as, like, scout forces almost. Yeah, well, we played wrong the first time. So. Yeah, so well, it makes sense. What about the second spreading. time? How did you feel about... Did you feel chaos? I felt a lot better about the second time. Okay. All a right. lot better. It feels a lot better. All right. And, um, okay, so any other comments from either of you two on the different game uh, thing? Last comment? Said? Yeah. I thought it was an interesting choice to go with hard plastic for the mission. That would be my only complaint. Because mm -hmm. one thing I noticed about a lot of the other board games that even have, like, Spartacus has fairly intricate features on the Gladiators, mm -hmm. but it's kind of a softer plastic, and with all these, like points and stuff, it seems like a pretty good chance of breaking some of these pieces on here. So I think the I think they're great detailed, but I would like to see them in a softer plastic. They're, they're, in my opinion, none of these pieces are going to break. Uh, this this The stands are this real nice soft plastic. They fit into these, uh, uh, these stands so well. I was so concerned that they weren't going to fit well and I'm going to have to kit bash it and, and use an X-Acto knife, but every single ship fits so nicely. And because the stands and the hull is of soft plastic, it goes in and out perfect. And I can do this all day long and still do it. So, um, but yeah, okay. Um, now, he, I, we got to talk about one thing. When you, I was so excited for this Warhammer 40k board game. And in my head, I was thinking, oh my god, I cannot wait for expansions even before I played the game. I can't wait for expansions, four, five player, six player, seven player, eight player. This yeah. game is not going to do six, seven, eight player. It's not no, going to go eclipse no. where you're playing nine players. It's not that kind of game. Four players maximum is going to be a lengthy game that may not be worth all of the trouble in the end, or especially five or six if they try to add that. I just don't think the way the game plays mm -hmm. that it's going to be worth it to add new races, and that kills me because I would love to see... Uh, you know, Imperial Guard, Necrons, Tyranids, Necron. Tau, uh, Dark Eldar, Sisters of Battle. I want all that shit in expansions, but I just cannot see this game with how lengthy it is in its combat mechanics getting added on to. It's already hitting the high point of the playtime without much uh, meat there. Um, but it, it's appropriate to the universe that there's no exploration and, and there's no uh, you know, diplomacy or technology, but those three things make other space games within this same sort of genre interesting. This one is just pure combat. Well, and that's why the com here. But that's why the comp, yes, it's technically technology. What about exploration? What about diplomacy? The only is diplomacy, but yeah. No, and exploration. And anyways, so that that without those elements, there's it may not be your game if you're if you don't like pure war is what I'm saying. Sure. Then it's not going to be your game. But it, you you should know better. If you're going to buy a Warhammer 40k game, it's, it's going to be yeah. war. It's going to be pure war. It's in the name. And I like yeah. that. I actually like that about but, it. But I just it, I was you know I, what I'm saying is the play time is just pure war, and you really can't add a whole lot of extra factions onto this. Now what you can do is in an expansion give us different races so that mm -hmm. of those three players that you're playing or four players or two players new board pieces you please. can play yeah. with different things and maybe you can tweak the battle mechanic. I have no idea. Idea, but I just it worries me that the way they design the game is going to prevent expansions and I have no idea if there's going to be an expansion usually fantasy flight if it sells well there's gonna be an expansion so I hope there's an expansion because I, I do want to see more races I want to see uh, you know all these different cards and maybe some tweaks to the rules to speed up the game but I have no idea if that's even possible with this current system so I think it's time now and you guys never really got to see the Eldar so let me show you yeah. the Eldar fleet Eldar are pretty cool mm -hmm. and we'll go with final ratings we'll start with Angerbeard 
<sighs> so out of ten, what would you do? I'd probably <laughs> give it about a six or a seven. Pick one. We are seven. we okay. Oh, Excellent. Seven. Let me switch with conviction. With conviction. Yes. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't break. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Going back to uh, scene one, which is gonna put us on the big screen. Is it gonna gurg gurg gurg? It might. Gurg, now we're good. Gurg, 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 it's gurg. got a one moment, please. <laughs> Come on, main camera, you can do it. You Boom. can do it. All right. You can do it. So, uh, final rating, anger beer. We'll do Seven. that again. Seven out of ten. Final rating. Okay. And uh, tons of fun. Uh, I hate to rate it high because I won, and everyone's be like, "Oh, you won!" Of course, you're gonna rate it high. Don't know. No, no, no. no. Yeah. It's a fair thing it's to say. It's a fair thing to play. say. Yeah. But for sure, uh, I think with further play, I would I would maybe change it a little bit. But I'm gonna go with a solid eight. Nice. I think the combat mechanics are great. That's one of my. That, that was why I got such high rated. Combat's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am also. Let's see. I'm I'm pegging just like Anger Beard. You know, you can either give it a six or a seven depending on. See, we we played the game. I have to push that out of my mind. The way you played wrong, yeah. and it's hard to push that out of my mind. Uh, playing correct and uh, playing with three players. Um, I think. I think a two-player game is uh, is like a, a seven. A yeah. seven out of ten is a two-player game. If you're playing with three and you're not running a stream and you're sitting there watching your opponents doing nothing, because I hate games that have too much downtime where I'm not doing anything. I occupied myself with the stream and, and the cards and, and keeping the game flowing, but literally you would do nothing. You'd just stare around, and especially if you put in that fourth player, woo! Game time's going to be like add another hour there, another 30 minutes. Um, but it'd be way more interesting, too, with a fourth yeah. player. A lot more orders going on. Oh, my God. I do want to play with a fourth player. So based off of this play, I'm going to go with a 7. 7 out of 10. And uh, that could go up with the, the four player, or it can go down. I'll, I'll have to see. But... Um, yeah, so that is uh, Forbidden Stars. It, it's uh, available June. It's available at the end of this month. So June twenty sixth is when you can pick up your copy. But you can pre order it at various stores or support your local game store. Uh, I think it's eighty bucks on Amazon and then a hundred dollars uh, retail. So you got your pick there. <laughs> For me, there's only one choice. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for, for peeking in on our board game session and playing with us. I had a lot of fun. I love Warhammer 40k, and I gotta say, the orcs feel like orcs, and it seems like the space marines feel like space marines. Uh, I already want to play again as a different faction, or I already want to play uh, with four players. Yeah. But it's definitely one of those games that you gotta be like, okay, are you ready for a... Uh, <laughs> a whole day of gaming, you know, there's gonna be a three, four hour. We've been doing this for a while. Yeah. So on how often this thing is gonna hit the table, I don't know because of that longer play time. That's why I was kind mm -hmm. of hoping they could cut down on the combat so it can hit the table all the time. Yeah. Because I do want this to hit the table all the time, but it's not gonna hit it very much with with the the length. But anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out, and uh, we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Bye.